on in and say hey it's michelle from monkey's creations i'm gonna get you pulled up so i can see your comments I've been outside saving frogs for the last 35 minutes. We have probably at least a hundred baby frogs in our pool, y'all. <laughs> and I mean, they're tiny. It just looked like a bunch of dirt along the side of my pool. I was like, and then I got close and I'm like, oh my God, they're frogs, y'all. Crazy. Good morning, good morning, y'all. Come on in. Float my boat. Let's get some friends up in here. Because I have a new way to do this Dahlia. I have figured it out. So I have already started today's. So there it is. And I'll go over how I'm doing everything. Um, this one is on the small board from Unique in the Creek. So if you need my link, let me share it in here real quick. So my link will save you 5% off of your boards. So there's my link. You guys can save it. Add it to your notes. That way you'll always have it. Good morning. So, I am using poly burlap. But y'all, you can do these with anything. Deco mesh, fabric mesh, anything you want. Um, mine are still 10 by 10. Okay. And then cut in half. And I'll, when I bring you down, I'll show you if you don't know what I mean. You found me live. Yay. Girl, you never know when I'm going to be live. I don't even know when I'm going to be live usually. <laughs> so this is the small flower board. Okay. So as you can see, I've set up all of the regular holes. Okay. So we are going to fill those first. Yesterday when I was playing, I did the center first and then worked out um, just to see because that's that's how my mind thinks. I've got to see in, in order to throw it together. Um, but I don't recommend that because then your petals start looking really yanky, janky, wonky, all the words. <laughs> um, so once we get all of the regular holes filled in, um, then we will go back and fill in and use the shared holes and fill all of these in. The only modification I did to the board was I did put a set of holes in the middle because the small boards do not have the holes in the middle. So I added those just in case I needed to do that. Um, so yesterday when I was playing, um, I used the whole 10 by 10. I didn't cut them in half. Um, and I needed to use that Senna, but um, since I'm doing the double, I may need to use that Senna. So I won't know until I get there. You had a heck of a time finding me. I'm oh, sorry. I am going to set up, hopefully today, um, the texting app so I can text y'all every time I plan to go live because I know Facebook notifications are wonky these days. Um, so I will set that up, okay? And you'll only get a text from me when I go live. Because y'all, I don't, I don't know about y'all, but my phone goes off constantly. And I always swear, if I get one more message, it's going in the pool. So I know how we all are about messages and text and, and all the things. So trust me. 
I will not overutilize that for sure. Okay. All right. So here we go. So for all of y'all that had not seen the previous one, what I did was I took and um there goes your shower <laughs> good morning i took a whole piece of 10 by 10. now y'all i literally wood burnt every one of these daggone pieces yesterday and today so i'm over the wood burning for today so i 10 by 10 okay and then i would burn them in half now this part you can't you don't need to wood burn um because this is going to be our folded edge so if you don't want to do that um then you do not have to do this part okay so all we're going to do is take our 10 by 10 that's cut in half and y'all we're literally going to flip and then just keep rolling just like that okay pull this down scrunch scrunch and bring them together good morning and then clip now I am using two petals in each zip tie which still means I'm only using one piece of mesh per zip tie. I do not have a tutorial on the glitter ropes because that is something that I'm keeping to myself. Um, that's just one of my one of my things I decided to keep. So flip, and we've got a lot of these still to do, y'all, because I was outside saving frogs. So I apologize. So just fold it, smush it, pinch it, clip it. There's my stalker. Okay. So we'll make these as I go, but I want to make sure. Now your flip may be a little different than mine. Okay, that's okay. As long as you're consistent with how you do yours, it really doesn't matter um, how they do, how you do it, okay? But just flip it. And then just keep rolling, y'all. It is really that simple. So if you saw the one I did the other day was I really wanted to do this petal and be consistent throughout the flower to make a true dahlia. So that is what I have figured out. So that's why I've done half of the wreath already because it was pro it was repetitive on what I'd already done until we get to the middle y'all. Okay. So go take your shower. You have time. <laughs> I was, we had like, uh, at least a hundred baby frogs in the pool. So I didn't nearly get all of them, but I'll go back out after the live. Okay, pinch. Hey, hey, hey. I was playing with the frogger. <laughs> okay. So. Here it is. Now I will give you more of an idea on how many um, petals you actually need when we get to the end. Because the one I did yesterday, I used a whole 10 by 10 and not half. Hello, hello. So then we're just gonna put two pieces side by side and we're just going to put them right into the zip tie I usually use a finger width good morning as my guide 
and then zip it up just like that and then I go in grab them and just kind of bring them up so that they sit up a little bit more oh no I did see that Tony I'm so sorry hopefully everything goes well okay so side by side yes it's 10 by 10 cut in half and I am using two petals in every zip tie until we get to the middle and then that may change okay and then just go in and bring it up just a little bit see how when you first put them in it's kind of sitting like that just bring them up and we'll start to get our curve Now, if you're more comfortable doing it the way I taught y'all the other day, that's fine. How you do it really doesn't matter as long as you're kind of consistent. Okay. I see some of y'all have already tried this. And they look amazing, the ones I've seen. You lay to the party. So we'll do a few at a time. So I do apologize. A lot of these weren't done. That was my goal, but I had to save the frogs, y'all. But is this the small board? Yes, this is the small board. Yeah, the, the large board was just too big. And then just bring them up. Let me bring you, I guess, more over here. This is poly burlap, but you can use any kind of mesh. I only use poly burlap because I knew it would hold up just a little bit better when I was playing. Um, but I do have a piece of, of regular deco mesh. I can show you what it looks like. Remind me when I'm almost done and I'll show you what it looks like with regular deco mesh. My clips are from Amazon. If you go to my favorite tool section on my website, monkeyscreations.com, um, you'll find my Amazon link. This one is no no shared holes yet until we get to the middle. These are the normal holes that are already on there. The normal set of holes. Now when we get to the middle, then we were we will do shared holes. Now 
Yes, Lynn, it would. But I had these small boards and I never used them. Uh, so I was like, oh heck, it's a perfect way to use them. Okay, and I'm just kind of making sure they're kind of lined up. And even though they are heat sealed, I am still being very careful when and how I put them in my zip ties. Okay, and just pull it up gently. There, Annette, there were frogs on the frog saber, but not all of them. I mean, there's there's literally probably over a hundred frogs, baby frogs, like literally in my pool. But there are a lot on the, the frog saber too. <laughs> Um, Bev, I'm not sure. I did not add any additional holes in mine, um, so I honestly couldn't tell you if it would be too much. Um, you would just have to play with it. I try to do most of mine where you don't have to make a lot of, of modifications to the board, y'all. So you will rarely see me modify the board too much because I want to do things that, that most people can do. Your dog's like chasing them, right? Well, they drive mine crazy because, well, mine won't get into the pool, so they just sit there and, and try to claw at them but then they're so afraid they're going to fall in, they, they generally give up. <laughs> where have I been? Where are you been? I've been here. It does, Diane. Eventually the frogs will die if I don't get them out of there. That's why I got the frog saver and I... I'm always very conscious of, of looking when I'm out with the dogs um, to check and see if there are any frogs in there or any animals for that matter. But the chlorine will kill them. It'll bloat them and then they won't survive after that. Hello. Look how party, y'all. It's gonna work out. You've tried this with deco mesh, but you can see the gray board through the mesh. Can you get burlap? Oh, you can't get burlap in Northern Ireland. Oh no. Maybe, I mean, y'all can always spray paint your boards as well. Um, or you may need to double up if you're using regular deco mesh. Double up on your meshes. Afraid he's going to get a... Oh! <laughs> no, there's no way this one can be a kit. No way. Too much poly burlap. And it's hard to come by these days. If by chance I can find some, I will let y'all know. Dorothy, no, we have not had one snake in our pool this year so far. 
I am shocked. I don't know if it was the um, the family of possums we had living under the deck or what, but not one snake, y'all. Remind me at the end and I'll show you with deco mesh. I have a few pieces of deco mesh hanging around because I still haven't cleaned off my table, y'all. <laughs> You hadn't thought, yes, girl, spray paint your boards if you want. I do have the cat kit coming out, and with that one, we will be spray painting our boards black because we will be using all tool, but generally, I do not spray my boards. Snakes are at your mom's house, right? Yeah, possums do eat snakes, but they haven't been here for quite a while, so I don't know what's going on. But I'm okay with that, for sure. Thanks for the stars. This is probably the easiest way I can show y'all how to make these rolled petals. Yeah, definitely try spraying them if you want. Yes, it's two in every hole. Thank you, thank you. The hardest work about this one, y'all, is the prep. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Michelle, I'll let you know when I'm done because I really don't know yet. I just figured out the center yesterday, um, but then I didn't finish finish it because it's I have a hard time wasting poly burlap. <laughs> so I'll let you know um, when we're done. If I don't, somebody remind me um, because I do sometimes forget. Absolutely, Courtney. These can be done in any color. There are so many. I mean, if you saw the dahlias I brought up the other day, dahlias naturally come in tons of colors. I almost did an all-black one, and I may still do that, a black dahlia. Yes. I did heat seal these. Okay, so we've got all of the regular holes done, okay? So all of the sets of holes are done. So what I'm going to start doing now is going in and putting zip ties from here to here, here to here, here to here, and here to here, okay? Now, I don't put all of these in all at once. Well, sometimes, if I'm doing it by myself, then I do, I load everything. But sometimes it's easier to show y'all step by step when I'm loading these than for me to go ahead and load them and y'all kind of get confused, okay? And I just float it around like a pizza. Thanks, y'all. Now, I'm going to tell you that that video that I shared the other day has been out for 
six years, y'all. So this petal and this type of dahlia flower has been around forever. So, if you ever are looking for a type of petal and, you know, one of us hasn't done it, go look on YouTube under origami or paper flowers because I guarantee you it's probably been done. Okay, just going to get these. Let's see. It might be easier at this point to leave them open, but I'll let you know. This is the small board. Yeah, it's going to be easier to leave them open because you've got a lot of mesh here in the middle now. Yes. Exactly, Carrie. And I, I, I pulled up a date for origami at one point. And it, y'all, people have been doing it for centuries. So trust me, there's nothing I'm doing that hasn't been done already. I just happen to be using mesh and putting it on a board. It's getting big, y'all. This is a zip tie gun, so it tightens and cuts your zip tie all at once. That is a lifesaver. That and my needle nose pliers. I would not want to do these boards without them. Yeah, I may have to do an all black one, y'all. I ain't even going to lie. Would that not be gorgeous? Forgot to bring my extra petals in case I needed them. Will this fit between two doors? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see when I'm done. If it's um, if it'll fit, I would say no. But I don't know yet.
Yes, these all are heat sealed. flip it over and show you where we are at this point so all of the regular holes on row one two three and then on four we are doing every set with the middles done as well okay so what we're going to do now is go back in and we're going to go right over the regular set of holes. So we are doubling up. Does that make sense? Did I just lose y'all? <laughs> Now I'm going to leave it open because it's easier for me. I think we're going to have enough, y'all. Rust would be cool, but I wanted this an like just all one color. Yes, I'm reusing the holes. <laughs> I did have them. Well, because I sold the um the uh the poppy kit. Two years ago so I did have a few but I don't it's not one I normally use I will let y'all know exactly how many petals you will need when I am done because I don't know yet once I knew I figured out the Senna I stopped so So I need two, four, six, eight, two, four. This is the small board. Yes, I do have petals to put on there, but I did not have time to do the, the veined petal. Um, so we'll just be putting the regular petal on there. But if you go back to the other doll I did, I showed y'all how to do the veined petal for the leaf using my flat iron. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so two pieces. Now, here's where it's going to get confusing, y'all. 
because I've been putting them in going towards the center, correct? This one we are going to put in going toward the outside of the board. Okay. And then once we get all of these in here, it will stand straight up, y'all. Okay, so we're not putting them toward the middle. We're taking it toward the outside. We got one more set. And I think I think I did it wrong, y'all. Hold on. I think I meant to put one more row. Hold on. I'm going to have to take these out, y'all. I apologize. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. I think I needed to do one more row of them going out or going in. So rewind that. Rewind.
because I think I only need four standing up in the middle. I've slept since yesterday, y'all. <laughs> And I'll fix these petals because they're a little wonky now. Okay, let's. Okay, so I'm going back over the wide parts. So these will still be going the same way. And then this one, this one, this one, this one, the main four holes will be going in. And then we'll have one directly in the center if we need it. No, I don't have candy corn nails yet. <laughs> okay, that's what I wanted. <laughs> they're not. They're they're pink and yellow. It's called Tequila Sunrise. Let's fix these janky petals. They look like candy corn on the video. Funny. <laughs> I knew you would, Dana. Okay. off so it doesn't get any worse. All right, so I'm going to do five more petals and that should be all we need y'all, hopefully. And then we will get all of these pulled up.
<laughs> Y'all are cracking me up. You thought they were red and yellow? <laughs> Two, three. Let me see if just one, or should I do two in the center? I guess we're going to have to do two. So I am going to take some more of my pieces. Now, I did wood burn these um, originally, but I'm not going to now. So I'm just going to line them up. Okay, because you're not going to see the part I'm about to cut anyway. But for consistency, I always keep the surged edge on my upper left and bottom right. up the middle just like that Two more just in case. more zip ties so these are going to go in the regular sets of holes okay so I'm going right back over what I already did and at this point it is easier just to leave your zip ties open So let's see what it looks like with one. Versus two. Okay, I'm just going to stick with the two.
And so these went out instead of in. Okay, so they are going to set up just like that. A lot of this will be pulling all of the petals up at the end. I'm not too worried about it right now, but we will fix it. I'm so glad I only I already had half of this done when I started. <laughs> this one was definitely not easy to figure out, y'all, for sure. And then if you want, I'm going to show y'all if y'all want one or two right in the middle. I will show you an easy trick. So at the beginning, I told y'all I did two extra holes in the middle using my wood burner. It's really easy. So we'll do two petals. Now I did make these a little bit skinnier. Because these will go right in the center. Okay, you're going to need two zip ties. I'm going to zip tie them facing each other. Okay. Zip tie them together. Don't zip it closed all the way. Take another zip tie. Now this is the old school way of doing when we had the wood boards, is we used to have to do this for our wood board boards to load the, um, the boards. Okay, so now you have your zip tie. You can go right in the middle. Let me flip it over. So I already put two holes right in the middle, just using the wood burner, y'all. It goes right through like butter. So then we're going to find the holes. 
if I can find them. <laughs> Maybe easier said than done. Because there is so much mesh in here at this point. Anyway. do it a little bit different because I will never get that mesh through there I do not believe the head of that zip tie so let's see if we can make this work not mess up our whole flower. Okay. Normally it's not that difficult, y'all. and then that will give you a petal right in the middle okay so we can bring all of these up very gently it's 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 a little bit harder keeping this one together when you're teaching rather than when you're just trying to do it by yourself <laughs> And then if you need to glue a petal in place, you most definitely can. And I'll have to play with it a little bit to get it so I take it back I will probably never make another one of these I'll leave it to y'all <laughs> goodness where am I okay I got my glasses Phew. I'm sweating y'all so there you go there is your Dahlia so how many pieces did we use? We used, let's see, we've got 16. Somebody get a calculator, because I'm not adding all this up. Are y'all ready? So we've got 16, 8, 8, And 17 oh I am honest that this will be, probably be my last but y'all it's taken me hours so, you know some people don't realize that the amount of time that it takes sometimes to figure out some of these flowers um, that it's just and then then you're over it it's like a one and done y'all <laughs> So who's got me an answer? So 
So 49 pieces. So you're going to need at least a roll and a half. Most of the time, if the rolls are accurate, you can get about 34 10 by 10 cuts um, on a uh, on a roll of mesh. Um, and I'll show y'all how if you wanted to add the leaves. If you go look at my last video, I showed you how to do the veined petal using my straightener, my hair, my flat iron. If you just wanted to do a regular petal, I will bring you back down. And actually, I'm going to show, because I don't want to lay this flat down, I will show you on another board. <clears throat> so you would use one of the outside holes. I was trying to figure out something on this one. I don't know what and load your zip tie just like that. Now I do heat seal my leaves as well and I always cut them an inch longer. So my leaves are always cut at 11 inches. And then I just scrunch it. Put it right down over that zip tie. Just like that. Yes, that would be 49 pieces cut in half. So double that, and that's how many petals you need. <laughs> okay, and then just kind of flip it up. So that's how you would add leaves onto it if you wanted to do that. So I'll just give you an idea of what it would look like. So there it is with the leaves. Okay, can you see that? Now I will go back and add leaves. I'll probably do the veins leaves, but I just didn't have time, y'all. Um, so regular deco mesh. Let me show you that. Let me see if I can find. I'll show you with fabric and with regular deco mesh what that petal would look like. Okay, so I'm just going to cut a 10 inch piece. So this is just your regular deco mesh. Not perfect by any means. So it's not going to hold as good as your poly burlap, but it still holds, y'all. Okay. And then if it's really thin, you may have to put two pieces, one right on top of the other. And do it that way. Now, if you wanted to use the fabric mesh, I need a new blade, y'all. really need a new blade. 
Y'all, they're opening up an Amazon Fulfillment Center right down the road for me. In my same town. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so this one is Fabric Mesh. A little janky because it's not wood burned, but y'all will get the idea. Okay, so there it is with the fabric mesh. Okay, so anything works. Anything works. All right. Any questions? So there it is. I will need to fluff it a little bit more. I am hacking up your pink. <laughs> but I'll, I'll mess with it and get all the petals straightened out. But So any questions? If not, I will be filling orders the rest of the day. Um, UPS did not, I repeat, did not pick up my order yesterday, so I still have a lot of kits here that have not shipped yet. Um, so as soon as I get off here, I will be calling UPS, USPS, to figure out what in the heck happened, um, and to make sure that they get here today. So, y'all have a good day. And what is today? Today's only Tuesday. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I'm doing the rest of the week. I just know today I'm filling orders. So y'all have a great day and I'll see you when I see you. Bye y'all.